And so I have one of these pumps that you can get on Amazon and on eBay. Uh, it's a generic model, it doesn't have any names or labels on it. Uh, it came in a plain box. The seller placed their own labels. Yeah, if you can see. This one came right from Amazon. Um, it's a 12 volt pump uh, that pumps water, uh, either submersible or out of water. You could connect two hoses, hose to it, and it only comes with one accessory that's the mounting bracket. Uh, water goes in here and out through there, and it shoots up pretty high, like about a couple of feet, two, three feet, uh, if you just submerge it under water. Uh, it's pretty solid. Four screws holding the impeller and uh, rotor. Uh, let me take a look up close. Here. And as you can see, it's a it's 4.8 watts. Model is DC30A1230. Uh, 12 volt maximum and um, you can go from 4 volts or so to 12 volts maximum. Um, I'm just going to get a USB charger and uh, just, just run it dry just to show you what it looks like. Okay, just, uh, just gonna spin it up for a second. Okay, so it does run and it's pretty loud and it's dry. When, it, when it's underwater, it's not that terribly loud. Uh, that's how it came with two wires like that. Um, let me show you what's inside. Uh, again, that's only four screws holding up one here and two, three, four. Connector is not perfect, by the way. There's like these um, little uh, threads. That is, take a look and see what I mean. Okay, so you see, it's not perfect, so it may leak. So you may need to take a knife and even that out a little. This 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 little this line here, and both of them are like that. So. If it leaks, just take a knife to it and just smooth it out so that it doesn't leak. It's the only problem we see with it. Um, reviews on Amazon and on eBay on, the, on Amazon um, are pretty good actually. Most people say they don't have any problems with it. Um, inside you can see it's a rubber O-ring. But there's a rubber o-ring okay and um, the impeller let me just get another screwdriver it's a impeller is plastic and rotor is just uh, a piece of magnet here see it's a magnet magnet and plastic there's no parts to wear out. There's no nothing to rust or react with anything. Uh, it's, there's a shaft here. There's a stainless steel shaft here, right there. And inside is all plastic. So it's one sealed piece of uh, plastic. See, it's, it's all plastic in there. There's just four screw holes. Uh, you see, there's nothing of damage. So, um, I would prefer running it outside the water and just connect uh, hoses to it, two holes in and out to it instead of submerging it. Because uh, you see, it's, it's not, I'm not sure if I would trust it. The uh, seal here.
it uh, feels like an epoxy. Feels hard. Feels like hard epoxy. So if you bend the wires too much, it might fracture and water might leak. And that that might be one of the reasons why people get gave it uh, bad reviews and said that it just fails because it may may have cracked and leaked in and blew out the motor. But if you run it outside the water, connect two hoses to it, it looks like it should be okay. Looks like it won't blow anything. Because it looks sealed. Looks pretty sealed. So you'd be the judge of that. I just rotate a few times and you could just judge for yourself. Okay, so it's really nothing to Um, just snaps right in there. The roller just snaps right in there and the impeller. Let me show why they need a rubber O ring. This whole thing goes right in the corner. Um, it feels pretty solid, I mean, I haven't any trouble with it so far. It feels very dense. So I hope it'll last. Let's run it on the water and let's see how that works. Take just that and that and that. So if I assemble it, reassemble it, and I'll just test it, and it works fine. that I'm running off of a USB 5 volts so the power is less but even at 5 volts it's pretty loud huh?
five volts it still pushes out pretty much pretty good amount of water. Um, actually I do have a 12 volt source. Got one of these laptop uh, things here. And it's a laptop house plugger. Right. Let's take a look at that. Throwing water about two feet in the air and just rotate to the side. Let's see how quiet it will run. So it's pretty quiet even at 12 volts and pretty powerful about two feet throws water. That's submerged. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.